My Chocolate, thank you very much for the donation. He's asking, hey Matt, I love your vids. Uh, definitely going to try some of these sitting pull-ups. Yeah, it's a humbling thing, especially with the legs straight. That's not an easy technique. It's my first time hearing about them. I have videos, by the way, too. I forgot to mention, folks, on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you do seated pull-ups or L-sit pull-ups or something like that, you'll find it for some instructions on how to do that. <clears throat> I should make another new video just to update it. And they make uh, total sense. Um, I'm only ever heard of using bands to make them easier. Yeah, and bands are, are fine. But again, I like the L and the seated pull-up because it gives you more control. I'm very much a big fan of using techniques that give you control during the exercise, control of the resistance, control of the range of motion, control of your body position. And the more control you have, the easier it is to get what you want out of the exercise. This is one of the reasons why I love suspension straps and rings and stuff like that, because the lot of the exercises you do with that are really easy to adjust right on the fly. So if you're doing banded pull-ups and you get to like five and you're like, oh, I kind of wish this was a little easier or a little harder or, oh, shoot, the band's kind of pulling me around a little bit or something, then you have to stop and you have to switch out the band. Maybe the band's too long, maybe it's too short and stuff. It, with the seated stuff, you just simply change your body position. You extend your legs a little more or pull it in or whatever. You know, It's real easy to adjust on the fly to give you the control so you can perfectly dial in that technique just the way you want it. Nothing against bands. Uh, it's just more of, I really just much prefer the seated pull-up. I think it's just a better way to go. 